I was 21 or 22 years old. I got drafted in 1968. Went through basic training, went through advanced infantry training in uh, Fort Polk, Louisiana, because that everybody knew that's where they were, we were going to Vietnam. We were going to be in the infantry. And I was trained as a mortarman, but I never saw a mortar once I got to Nam. Uh, they needed, when I got there, they needed a machine gun. I don't, I don't remember the picture even being taken, but that definitely was at a base camp. Um, I probably put on guard duty at the time or something like that. I was 23 when I joined the army. All my, some of my friends had joined right out of the, right out of high school. And but I always been really excited or, or wanted to become a helicopter pilot. But my eyes weren't good enough. What I did in the military was I worked on helicopters. I was a helicopter mechanic, and uh, specifically, I worked on the rotor systems of the helicopter most memorable thing that I can pulled from my, my time in service is just, you, you know, respect for chain of command and, and uh, doing what you're told. I, I think that was taken at basic training probably within the first couple of weeks I was there. And I was, I was seven, I, my first two weeks of basic training, I was still 17 years old. So yeah, I look back at that and, and I don't recognize the photo. If I didn't know that was me, I would not guess that. I had a big advantage over many of these metropolitan kids because we could, you know, we had a, a certain sense of survival out in the country anyway. And the work ethic of the Midwest farm kid versus uh, somebody off the streets of New York, uh, my company commander said, give me, a, if I come back, he said, give me a company of Midwest farm boys anytime over any other group because he said they're not afraid to work and they'll fight. On our Huey ride that we had, uh, we all met up out at the Boone Airport and because that's where the, the Huey landed after it was out here at the, out, out at the office so people could take a look at it. We went on a wonderful ride, um, went out and flew out over the fields around Boone, went over by the Farm Progress area. Uh, went out as far as Highway 17 and then we turned around and, and the pilots did just a super job of doing some nice banks. You could almost, you felt like at times that you were looking straight down on the world because the helicopter was banked so much. I had 41 combat assaults from the helicopters. Uh, and somebody took that picture and gave it to me at a later date. But we're waiting there to get on these choppers and we have no idea where we're going, what we're going to find when we get there, or like I said, if we're going to be alive yet that day. I mean, we were terrified. I've forgotten and tried to forget a lot of that. Um, I, I was fortunate enough, enough to never have to be in a combat zone. Um, but yeah, yeah, you do have a camaraderie with other people in the military, but I think, you know, people like Tom, uh, who were actually in combat, and other combat veterans have a, a very special tight bond and are able to speak in a language that other people are unable to, to quite grasp or understand. I just think that if people, if you know of a veteran, just basically thank them for their service. Most veterans are yeah, very proud of their service that they, that they spent the time giving it to our country. And there's no better way than just to be told thank you. Mm -hmm.